All right, hello everybody. I hope you enjoyed this extremely long drive I just went on. You weren't here for that part. Anyway, so I just took a very long drive. I was very kindly invited to a battle um, site. Well, it's not actually a battle site, but it's an area right next to the uh, Battle Franklin. And uh, looking forward to finding some, some relics here. This property has been owned uh, since the late 1800s, uh, all the way up until now. So um, it's a huge property. So I'm going to be doing a lot of cherry picking today and a lot of running through. And hopefully I can get onto something here in the next couple days. So I'll be here for that. Uh, so this will be a two day hunt. Uh, it may end up being a multi part video. I'm not really sure at this point. So uh, until then, I'll see you guys on the first find. Well, here's my first signal. I'm not far from the truck at all. It's right there. Um, not sure what it is. I just pulled it out of right here, and it was a 25 signal. We get it in the sun here. Uh, if if it feels kind of light, I mean, it looks like a coin, but it feels extremely light. So, I'm thinking it might be like a token or something like that. Yeah, I think that's what that's gonna be. See some designs on it, some writing. Uh, good luck. I see good luck. I see a horseshoe on it. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a date. I've never really seen dates on good luck tokens before. Uh, emblem of the something. It looks like don't worry. I'm not really sure. But definitely a good luck token. Uh, Got some more writing on the back, County Justice. All right, so I don't see any date on it, but still a pretty cool find, very first find, so excited about that. So let's keep going. You know, just before I cut this camera off, I didn't even notice this. Did you guys catch up on that before I did? You see what I'm saying right there? I know that that symbol, before it was a Nazi symbol, was a symbol of luck. And uh, I know there's some more history to it, more history behind that symbol. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'd have, if I was to guess, I'd say this was before, uh, before the war, or at least sometime during it, possibly. So I guess that gives us a pretty good date on it. I can't imagine too many people using the symbol post-war. But anyway, all right, now we'll keep going. <laughs> See you in the next. Alright guys, next signal here, uh, right after that token, um, I pulled out this signal here. It was about a 32 and it was a cracking signal, so it was jumping back down to 12, 15, up to 30s. And I pulled that out there, and uh, as you can see right there, I'm, I haven't looked at what it is yet, but obviously it looks like a silver dime. What I had done is I scooped it up like this here and I tossed it up and you can see some of it fell back down. Uh, but anyway, so let's look at and see what it is. I don't want to rub it off. Um, just from that angle, it kind of looked like a Roosevelt dime, honestly. But still, it's silver. And that's, uh, that's my second hole out here. Oop. Let's do it right here. Well, that's definitely not a Roosevelt, guys. That is a Mercury Dime, second hole, uh, 1944. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> uh, I'm excited about it regardless. It's a very common date on these uh, silver dimes, but still, 1944, Mercury Dime, I'm happy. Thrilled to be out here, guys. Thrilled to be out here. So... Hey, let's keep going. Second hole silver. First one, uh, good luck token. And uh, let me just say this, since I'm not talking, so I'm not talking to myself here. Um, so when I'm talking about the different wars, because I know a lot, I got a lot of people out there like uh, digging the green grass, uh, 
a lot of people from different places. So when I'm talking about war here, uh, when I said the Battle of Franklin when I started this here, um, that was the Civil War. So we're talking 1860s. And uh, when I was talking about this good luck token with what we know now as the Nazi symbol, um, it, it was a good luck token, good luck symbol uh, before that. Uh, and I, when I talk about that war, I'm talking about World War II. So um, I, I'll try and be a little bit more specific. But hey, we got a, a token and a mercury dime. First two holes out here. And I haven't left by my truck. You probably see right behind me where my truck is. So hey, let's keep going. This is exciting, isn't it? It was worth the drive. <laughs> you don't know what you missed. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right, so what I want to try and do here is uh, try and get a couple live digs since I found that token in this uh, mercury dime right here. Let's see if we can't get a couple live ones on here. It's a nice climbing tree right there. I like to get under these trees here. I don't know if you can see that or not, where that branch is. I just picture myself climbing that tree up, up and out, and uh, I just picture other, other folks doing that too. Really want to check under those branches. All right, here's a. Uh, it's fairly deep. See if you can see the numbers on it. It jumps up into the 30s, you know, 17, 23, 19, but it keeps jumping up into the 30s. So I figure it's worth a dig. And it's pretty deep too, so. <clears throat> Since my last uh, good find, I've dug a lot of garbage. Just kind of getting excited and digging everything. But, you know, you find a couple of really good finds, you kind of want to dig everything. Well, it's somewhere in here. There we go. What is that? Oh, looks like a button. Yeah. There's the back of it right there. It's like a cuff button. Hmm. Really kind of hard to make that one out. We get the toothbrush on it. Very fragile cuff button. So I can't really make this one out, guys. I will clean it up and show you a picture of it. But anyway, that's neat. Just put it away and keep going. Well, to be honest, <laughs> I hit this signal here as a 19 signal, and as you can see right there, I thought it was just going to be another piece of aluminum junk. I sure have dug my share of it, but that's not at all what it is. It's part of a pocket watch. It looks like, uh, well, I don't want to say it's silver because it's not, but anyway, yeah, you can start seeing it now. As soon as I saw what it was, I said, man, I should have turned the camera on. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. Got part of a pocket watch. I wonder if the rest of it's in here. Yeah. All right. We'll keep looking. If the rest is in here, you'll see that. If not, I'm going to keep looking right here in front of a really uh, nice old house. So hopefully we'll get something out of it. All right, guys, just in case you haven't seen my, my journey so far, I came down off that hill and then walked all the way down there, all the way back down, and then back up and uh, dug a couple dimes, a bunch of junk, guys. I mean, just a ton of it. 
<laughs> look at that. Anyway, I ended up finding the old house that was on that map right there. And uh, that whole area is just completely covered in it and just, uh, all kinds of stuff. Here's an old piece of pottery that I found. I don't know if you can really see that. There you go. Really thick piece of pottery. But anyway, so I came on down here, figured if that's where the house was, there's got to be something down here. So I dug this hole here. It wasn't that deep. Not really sure. I think it's like a brooch. I'm going to have to clean it off. I don't know if it's silver or not. And we'll uh, spray it down really quick and find out. Uh, it just didn't come out of the ground looking like silver, so it might just be plated or... Take this glove off, that'd probably help. Yeah. I thought it was kind of neat. First, uh, first neat find that I found here in a little while. It's been rough going, just trying to track down a, a site over here. Anyway, it's pretty neat. Let's keep going. Alright, so right there is that hill I just came off of. And I just dug this brooch right here. I got this sitting right here. 28, 29. It starts at 25. It climbs up to 29. More solid on 27, 28. But... Wanted, wanted to dig it up, see if we can't break the curse of the live dig, because there's a lot of live digs that you're not going to see. <laughs> oh man, it's a huge difference from when it was really cold out. Now the pollen's out. <laughs> Lot of a lot of loose dirt here. Oh, there it is. Hey, what do we got here, guys? Check that out right there. Look at that. What do we got? Huh. I'm not even sure what that is. I think it says Canada. <laughs> it does. Does it? Yeah, it says Canada on it. Is that a silver Canadian coin? I don't want to rub it just in case it is. I didn't even know Canada had silver coins. I'm sure they did at some point, like the U.S. did. Alright, check that out. 1953 Canadian. Is it one cent? I think it's going to be silver, guys. Somebody looked it up for me. Is that one cent Canadian? Alright, or one cent. Is that a silver Canadian? Obviously it's one cent, right? I say that. I think it's a really tarnished silver coin. Uh, I'm not sure the denomination on it. So, alright, I'll put that away. Pretty cool. 1953 Canadian, possibly silver coin. One of you guys are going to let me know, right? Alright, let's keep digging. All right, guys, so I got this, uh, well, let me just show you where I'm at. Right there is where I got that uh, uh, Canadian coin and the brooch and all that. And I walked around for a little bit and came on down here. Apparently, there was a truck. Got a 24 signal right here. You can see that root right here sticking up. I broke it trying to get down in there, and I uh, flipped it up. Can you see what's hanging on that root? Can't make this up, guys. <laughs> Can't make it up. I don't know if it's going to be silver or not, but it's definitely a ring hanging on a root. <laughs> the root grew through the ring. Wow. Yeah. It's a nice stone on it. I think it's going to be a plated something or another though. <laughs> Man, that's cool. <laughs> Look at that. That root right there and the ring was here grown through the root or grown through the ring. Let's uh, I, I doubt very seriously that it's going to be silver uh, because you know silver comes out of the ground well looking like silver but we'll still clean it off anyway right here we go so 
yeah like i said i don't think it's silver there's some sort of plating on it so i don't know if it's gonna be gold plated or what but it's a ring it's a pretty little stone on it too so we'll get it cleaned up show you a picture of it that's pretty interesting i like it all right let's keep going all right almost back to the truck still haven't found any evidence of civil war history yet <laughs> This gave me quite a scare right here. See how green that is? I thought it was going to be a uh, fuse. Well, I see the screws right there. I don't know. The bottom of it just it doesn't look like it. It just kind of reminds me of a, uh, a tractor part or something like that. But it is extremely green. I'll have to clean it up and take a look at it. Get a better idea on what it is. All right, let's keep moving. All right, so still working my way back to the truck. You got this signal here. You can see where it was. Right here in the dirt, it just popped off. It looks like a like a watch fob. See that? I'm gonna clean it up before I start making stuff up on what I see. <laughs> Oh man, all right, it says something on the back. So you can't make that out. It was this way, I guess. Made in Taiwan. No, <laughs> it says, with thanks. Uh, it's got an inscription on it. I'll have to try and make that out because I thought I saw a date on it. Hang on one second. Let's try this. I don't know how this is going to work. So there's the front of it. And this is with thanks from the American Indian. Wow. Does it really say that? It says thanks from the American India Indian. Man, guys, I can't make it this last word. It's children. Thanks from the American Indian children. Check this out. That is cool. Thanks for the American Indian children. That is awesome. That is super cool. Okay, now you can see all my gadgets. So, it is really hot. I'm gonna go get some water, and uh, if I can find anything else on the way back to the truck, we'll check that out. And uh, if not, I'll probably do a wrap up, change batteries, and we'll start a second video after that. So, you have to wait a couple days. Hopefully you can wait. Be patient. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, just the first hunt, and uh, I'm gonna get some lunch, and then I'll do a video for the second hunt, and then tomorrow will be a third. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Look at all that trash. That's all the trash that I dug out here today, uh, just this morning. So I've only been digging for about three and a half, four hours. I got all that trash. Here's some stuff that you probably didn't see that I'm going to clean up before I do anything with. So Obviously that's a spoon. It's a pretty fancy one. Looks like it was silver plated at one point. I don't know. Uh, clock part. Sword guard. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the fuse, it's not a fuse. The stopwatch part. The S uh, with a rustless thing. This is that... Uh, that cap you may or may not have seen this here it's got writing on it. it's a mason jar lid it's got writing on the top so figure I clean it up shotgun shell head stamp it's a piece of iron and just because where I'm at I thought it might have been a frag so I'm gonna clean it up um, I don't know it's really heavy as you can hear here but I think these are a couple sprinkler parts uh, this has got more green on it than this I'm pretty sure 99% sure that's a sprinkler part I'm not sure what this is here uh, a couple pieces of, of lead 
Uh, we got seven pennies, quarter, two dimes, two quarters, two dimes. Uh, here's that, uh, I believe it's going to be a silver Canadian coin, and then this uh, 44 mercury dime. Um, then here's that brooch that I found. This uh, um, looks like watch fob that says, with thanks from the American Indian children. And then uh, the good luck token. Uh, if, you, if you skipped over this part, <laughs> Uh, you'll it'll probably be as surprised as I was if you if you watch the whole thing to find that right there um, Here's that ring that was attached to a root and then a cuff button and the back of it obviously broke off so There you have it like I said, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break eat lunch uh, hydrate and then uh, get back to it There's a couple other spots. I want to check so I checked uh, this 1900 spot out here found the house and it was uh it was definitely burned and it was deep so anyway see you on the next hunt i get this phone it's been going off so see you on the next hunt please like and subscribe